What's different about this campaign is that now men are supporting women. Fathers are teaching their daughters to drive. Activists are emboldened by recent cautious reforms by King Abdullah, who appointed 30 women to the advisory Shura Council earlier this year. However, the kingdom's ultra-conservative Wahhabist clerics are unmoved. The clerics have weighed the pros and cons, and they decided that the cons outweigh the pros. Hardline conservatives don't want the ban lifted, as there are fears this could lead to reform in other areas, like the controversial guardianship laws, which require women to obtain permission from a male relative if they wish to work, travel, or even open a bank account. Authorities are now cracking down and have explicitly said that anyone flouting the ban will be punished, and even online support could bring arrest. It's a threat Saudi women are taking seriously, and many have decided to stay home on Saturday. It is uh, a decision which is justified, you know, out of safety. But most of us believe that we will go to, st to the streets and we will drive any time we need to. It's not about the 26th, it's about any day. Activists insist that the campaign will continue as the issue is too important to drop. Let's get a reminder of the top story.